Hey guys, today I'm showing you how I make the window style journal covers. This is a fairly easy method, but it can be quite time consuming. I'm starting here with a blank cover that I built and this is gonna be my next personal journal. So you can start with any blank cover you've made or you can start with a gutted book if you prefer. I do have a tutorial in my Etsy shop of how I built this cover, which is why I can't share it in the video, but there are also lots of other tutorials you can find online if you don't already know how to do that. So once you have your cover, we can start decorating it with the window style. I like to recycle boards where I can and I usually have some extras laying around since I'm always crafting. So you just take a second piece of board and we now want to cut it down to fit on top of the cover that we've already got built. You can be really creative with this part, it doesn't have to sit flush on the cover like I'm doing. You can make it more narrow, you can have a decorative shape to it or whatever else you like. So I'm cutting down two pieces, one that fits on the front and one for the back. Then you need to decide what type of window you want. I usually like to do a classic circle shape, but you can do whatever and it helps to know what your image will be ahead of time. So you can pick the shape that accentuates that particular image. I have a die cut machine, which I highly recommend. And that's what allows me to cut really neat circle shapes into my boards and my papers. But if you don't have access to one, you can draw or trace a shape onto the cover and cut it out with an X-Acto knife, which is what I'm actually doing for this book. And if you do hand cut, it's easier to cut a square or a rectangle shape rather than a circle or an oval. I wanted to show as much of this image as I could, which is why I did a large rectangular window. And I used a combination of my trimmer and a knife to cut it out. The image that you're going to use should also be the same size of the window that you've cut out. And this is so that we can actually attach the image last. And that just makes it easy to paint and decorate the rest of the cover and easily make changes as you go without having to protect that focal image. Then we need to attach those boards onto the cover and I like to do that with a generous amount of acid free PVA glue. Make sure you press the pieces down really well and give them plenty of time to dry and adhere to the cover. I usually like to leave this for several hours before I move on to the next step which is to paint the cover and I usually add a layer of gesso over the whole cover first to give me an even base so that my paints apply evenly to the different boards but you can go straight in with the color of your choice if you like. I usually like to add multiple layers of paint So using acrylic paint, I'm painting a contrasting color for the first layer and I'm allowing that to dry to the top. And then I'm taking some crackle medium and following its instructions, which is to apply a layer and then allow to dry to the touch again. Then I'm applying another layer of paint and this is the main color I want my journal to be. When all this dries, the crackle medium will allow some of the first layer of paint to show through and it will just give the journal a cracked, vintage, rustic look. Now is also the time to add in any other decorative elements to the cover before you seal it. I always like to add some gold around the seams and the edges of my cover to highlight the details and anything that's raised. And when you're done decorating, you can go ahead and glue on your image inside the window. Again, I just use the same acid-free PVA glue. Once everything is dry, I like to apply Liquitex varnish over the whole cover. You can use any varnish that you like, but it is important to seal everything in, especially when you're using paints and mixed media. 
I didn't apply the varnish yet as I do want to add some more details to my journal but I haven't figured out what just yet. So those are the basic steps to creating window cover journals. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You can let me know in the comments if you have any others that you would like me to cover and I will see you in my next video. Bye!